Hey everyone, my uh, friend lent me his book called The Fly Tying Primer and there's a very basic fly in here called the Basic Black. Um, very simple to tie so I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so one of the first things you want to do is to make sure that you've trimmed your yarn on an angle. A nice little angle there. Okay, so you want to take your thread and, and start about three quarters of the way up or a quarter of the way back from the eye. Bring the thread all the way back to the bend in the hook. Make sure you avoid that little tip there of the hook right there. <laughs> Okay, trim off your tag again. Okay, now it's time to tie in your t your uh, yarn. You want to grab it here just before that little angle where you cut it off is. Tie it on here with the pinch method. So you're pinching your line, dragging it down on top. Very good. Keep that pinched on top of the hook. Very good. Alright, so you're going to bring your thread towards the front, close to where you started. Alright, so now you bring your yarn, wrap it around the same sort of orientation or from the front to the back. Keep your wraps tight to each other without overlapping too much. Alright, now you want to take your thread, just bring it over top of it. Bring your yarn up. Do a couple in front. And maybe one more over top. Now, I'll be very careful because you can cut your thread. You don't want to be doing that. So, careful that you're not getting too close to the hook, but close enough that you're not leaving too much tag. Alright, there we go. Now, take your thread and wrap that tag down. And this would be a good time for you to throw in a half hitch or a whip finish. I do this hand whip finish. Stick your two fingers in here, wrap it over, and wrap it over the high of the hook a couple of times. Okay. And you need something to hold it, and then bring it up tight to the hook. And I it makes that knot tie off now. It's locked in place. Alright, so next step, you're going to take your saddle hackle. And you see it's really thick here and fluffy at the end. We don't want any of that. We want a bit of a thinner um, hair. So I'm going to strip off the feather from here down. Very good. I got a nice part of the stem here. And the stem's going to get tied in. So, this feather needs to be on a bit about 45 degree angle when you bring your thread over. Very good. Alright, so I'm going to trim off the stem here a little bit. Not necessarily all the way right to the thread. Be careful you don't cut your thread. Alright, now bring your feather around. And this, uh, sometimes they say you can go like this and bring the feathers down. I tend to say <laughs> it's going to happen anyway. Alright, bring it around. Oh, I'm bringing my thread.
thread forward just a wee bit. Alright, let's bring it around and start bringing the feather just slightly in front of the feather where it's already been wrapped. Try and keep those feathers behind the ones that you've already done. Alright, that should be plenty. Alright, some people put a hackle plier on here. I just like to take my thread and slide it over top of the feather. Have it hold on. And I like to take my hackle feathers, the little pieces, and draw them back with my fingers. And then go over a couple times here. Alright, very good. Now bring them all back, even the, the feather. Bring them all back to the back. Some people buy a little thing. You can actually cut a little slit in the piece of paper and do the same thing. And it'll hold all those feathers back. Now, I like to do a little bit of a tie on top of those feathers there. So it kind of gives them an orientation of going backwards. And you're making a little bit of a head here for your fly. Very good. Alright. So at this point, we can get rid of that. Extra feather. See, there's one loose strand here that's been coming forward. Alright, so that looks pretty nice. And uh, so, what I'm going to do now is a whip finish. Again, I just do this by hand. Take the thread, wrap it around, get it over the eye of the hook, wrap it around again, over the eye of the hook, hold that nice and tight. something in there to draw it up to the hook and there we are we are finished time to cut off the thread good and then the last step take some Sally Hansen or head cement tool here and apply it on make some careful some on top and some underneath and that's the basic black fly very good well thanks for watching with me tight lines everyone